Hope you all guys have some idea about polymer chemistry from the facts discussed previously. Now you all would be aware of how polymers came into existence. So, now we will see the chemistry as well as the science employed in polymers. Have you come across the word polymer in your daily life? You would not have come across the term polymer, but definitely you would have seen the things made out of polymer. Before that, what is polymer? Poly means many, and mer means part. Small molecules combine to form a larger substances, called polymers. These small molecules are nothing but monomers. A very apt real-time example of the polymer is plastics. Next, we are going to see about the polymers classification. It's been classified into natural polymers, synthetic polymers, and semi-synthetic polymers. Natural polymers, the word itself holds the meaning that it comes from the natural resources, and natural polymers are mainly non-toxic. Have you ever thought that our own human body generates natural polymers? Yes, through proteins in the form of polyamino acid. Other examples include starch and natural rubber. Next to that, synthetic polymers is the one which we are using in our daily life, known as man-made polymers. Using this polymer, we could make plastic items, PVC, and nylon. Coming to semi-synthetic polymers, it is produced by the chemical treatment of natural polymers. In this type of polymer, we could make vulcanized rubber for making tires. Now, let's see how these things are actually made. It can be done in two ways, additional and condensation polymerization. Firstly, we will have a word about polymerization. It's nothing but a combination of monomers, which results into a polymer. Getting back to additional polymerization, monomers combine to form a polymer through additional reaction, without elimination of any smaller molecules. This process is known as additional polymerization. For example, polyethylene. Similarly, condensation polymerization is also as same as additional polymerization, but it forms a polymer through the condensation reaction, with the elimination of smaller molecules such as water or HCl. For example, nylon. We have shown you how the plastics are made, and hope you recycle them and preserve the nature.